Hi, my name is Heidi Boyd. Welcome to our studio. This is where I design and make all of our kits. Today I wanted to share with you how to make these cute, adorable little foxes. There's a big fox, a little fox, a little fun wooden tunnel for them to play in. So let's get started. Here's the kit and I'm going to open it up and show you what comes inside. Well, obviously there's a lot of stuffing. Let's move that to one side. Here's all the felt. Um, be careful, there's needles and pins inside. We'll move those to one side. Here's the package with the little tiny noses, fox noses and threads. Your full size pattern and the instructions. So let's go through the first step is cutting out your pattern pieces. I'm going to show you how to put him on the felt. I'm going to leave the felt folded because we need two body pieces. I'm going to place it right along the edge so I'm, not, I'm using all of the felt because I'm going to need to get in the other body piece and the heads. What I'm doing is pinning this in place so it doesn't move while I'm cutting it. And then you'll just remove the pattern piece and this piece is ready to work with. I'm going to switch to all the pieces that I've cut out ahead of time. And so for the big fox we've got two heads, two tail pieces, his stomach, and his little chin piece. And in the instructions you'll see that your first step is to work on making the fox's face. So I've got a piece all ready to go. And when we're working on the fox's face, we just need one strand. So I've pulled out one strand and I'm holding the rest of it in place to get that out. And to thread the needle, just loop it over, make a little tiny bump and pull the bump through. And on this first step, all we're doing is holding those little white cheeks in place. So we're making tiny stitches. This is how I tie a knot in the back. I make a couple of little tiny stitches that don't go through to the other side. And then I just sew through them. And then bring the needle through the hoop. And I trim it up with the scissors. So the next step is using just three strands. And to separate those, you want to pull them apart and knot the end and thread the needle. And I have one that's already threaded and ready to go. And you're gonna start with your first stitch right up the center of his forehead, a half inch long stitch, and then a smaller stitch on either side of it. And those little smaller stitches are at a little bit of an angle. And while you have the orange thread, you want to stick his nose at the bottom. So bring the needle up through the nose. And here's the thing, don't pull it too tight because you don't want a misshapen fox head. Just let everything lay flat. And I'm going to take out one of these little bead noses. it through my needle. I'm going to make a stitch and just so that nose doesn't fall off, I'm going to make another stitch to hold it in place. And then I'm going to knot my thread the same way I did before and make a couple stitches. Now 
Now he's got a nose, but he needs his eyes and his little ears to find. So I've got three strands of black thread and I'm going to make a French knot eye. And to do that, I'm going to bring the needle up. The knot always goes on the back. I'm going to make a tiny stitch. And then one, two, three wraps. And I'm going to hold those wraps down and bring the thread straight up. Oh, and I've got a little loose on there, so I'm going to pull it tighter. And then I'm going to bring the needle back down to the other side. And there's his sweet little eye. And then I'm going to bring the needle to the other side and do the same thing. Alright, so we're going to make a little V-shaped stitch in his ear. There's one, and then I'm going to, I think I'm going to just attach the thread just a little bit through here because if you bring it across way to the other ear, it's going to distort the felt. So that kind of anchors it. It's a little trick. And I'm just going to make the other V in the other ear. And then we're just going to knot the thread. And then the next step is to join the two head pieces together and stuff them. Here's the, the finished head piece. And I started a little whip stitch that went around the side and I've stopped right here to leave an opening so that I can put some stuffing in there and then I'm going to pick up the whip stitching so you can see how to do it. It sounds really fancy but all it is is a little stitch that goes around the outside of the felt. All right, got some stuffing. I try and get it inside so it's not poking outside and the whip stitches you just go from you let the thread go around the outside and you make a stitch and I'm trying not to get his little white cheeks in the stitch. And this is the last stitch and I'm going to do something sneaky here. I know at the end I have to attach the head the body so I'm going to bring the needle out here and I'm going to leave this so it's ready to attach to the body later. So there's your finished box head. Let's get the body together. Attach the little tail pieces, the little white tail pieces. You want to make sure that they're both the same before you stitch them. So I line them up this way to make sure they're going to be in the same position. And then I pin them. And then I take the orange thread, and I've already sewn this one in place. And you make a little line of stitches across this zigzagged orange top. And all that's doing is attaching the white fluffy tail to his orange body. Just make sure your knots are on the back side. And then knot this one. Before you can assemble them, you need its little white stomach prepared. Here's the stomach piece. And when you cut it, it was just flat like this. And if we left it flat like this, the pork fox couldn't stand up. He'd just be splayed out. So you have to fold them in half. And we're going to stitch. I know this seems strange, but it helps him stand up straight. We're going to make a line of stitches across his belly. To make sure that this seam is really strong, I like to go back over it. I'm going to 
trim it. Now this little body piece, this little stomach piece needs to fit between the layers. And you'll want to use a pin to pin the white leg to the orange leg. And then with orange, three strands of orange floss, you're going to want a long piece. You're going to start stitching right at the base of the tail. And I've actually got one that's prepped and ready. I'm going to switch out to that one. But here you can see that the orange stitches show up on the white, so you have to be really careful and take your time. All right, let me switch out to the one I've got ready. So this one, you can tell I've stitched all the way around the legs, back around these legs, and then I started the thread over again right here on the chest. And it's time to stop and stuff all these little legs. So you want to take a little tiny bit of stuffing. And I'll do the front legs first. And you can push them in with your fingers, but if you want to get down into the little places, you can use your scissor points if you don't push too hard, or a knitting needle, or the end of a chopstick. All right, I'm going to move the stuffing out of the way and I'm going to pick up stitching. And if it's easier for you, you can pin this closed. I like to just hold it. And then I'm going to stitch all the way up to where the orange ends. Okay, and I'm going to stick the needle inside the tail to tie the knot on the inside. So I like to cover up any knot tying whenever I can. I think that's about now, right for now. And now I'm using three strands of the white thread. And I'm going to trim that. So there's the headless fox, and I'm going to pick up the head that we made in the first step. Yay, the fox is done. Let's get the log done. So when you make the log, you need to have the brown piece and the stone colored piece and put them on top of each other. And 
we're making just a solid seam. It isn't going to be seen on down either side. So I just made a running stitch in and out, in and out, in and out down one side. And then I came back to just fill up the stitches in between. I'm just trying to make a solid line of stitching. Nobody's going to see this because it's um, going to be turned inside. And you want to make sure that both these ends are kept open and you're not going to stitch over the ends. So there I've come back to my starting knot and I'm going to knot this thread and then I'm ready to turn this piece right side out. If you're a sewing machine sewer, you could totally cheat and just machine stitch these two pieces and it would go a lot faster. Now we're going to turn this right side out. So we've got that sewn, and now you're going to fit one end into the other. So I've got a full, this is a full strand, so this is all six strands. They haven't been separated. And I'm going to hide the knot inside between the layers. And we're going to do three, one, two, three separate lines of stitching. And just going to make and encircle the log with our stitching. I'm going to add the needle, add the leaf to this next stitch. So you just place the leaf and then you can either make one stitch or two stitches through it. It's a little bit harder to pull the needle in and out through this because there's so many layers. It's got two layers. Um, I think I'm going to make a little stitch here that makes sure these two pieces are joined together. And then I'm going to bring the needle inside it to the middle where I'm going to start the next line of stitching. Okay, I'm going to add the leaf to this line, and this time I think I'm just going to do one stitch through it and let it kind of hang. So I would keep going all the way around here, then bring the thread through and go do the third line, and then my log would be finished, and it would look just like this one with the three leaves attached. So now you've made both your frisky foxes and their log. I'm sure they're going to charm visitors or children that come to your house. They're adorable. And if you enjoyed making these kits, please look for our other designs. We've got penguins, squid eating narwhals. We've got um, perfect pal cats, a little mouse that comes out of a mushroom, um, adorable owls, bunnies, and even play food. You won't believe how much fun you can have sewing with felt. Thank you for sewing with me.